before it's too late. This nocturnal creature is one of God's special creations. You could be forgiven for thinking it looks like one of Spielberg's gremlins. The eye is the most mysterious of all of Madagascar's lemurs. Although not as endangered as some of the other lemurs, it is probably the most threatened, mainly because of its looks, but also some of its eating habits. Coconuts, mangoes and lychees form part of the eye's diet, along with wood boring grubs. Although there are no coconuts on Nosimanga Bay, eyes on the mainland have developed a huge liking for coconut plantation crops, and some plantation owners see them as pests and shoot to kill. These eyes, however, are happy to eat the wood borers that live under the bark of these trees. Their rather specialised diet has produced some interesting characteristics in the eye. Firstly, the middle finger is extremely long and wiry. It acts as a probe to dig out the bugs from beneath the bark, or to scoop out the coconut through a hole gored in the top. Secondly, the eye's incisors have been reduced to a single pair. They are continuous growing with enamel on one side only, giving them razor sharpness that can cut through tree bark. But it's their looks which are their greatest enemy. Many Malagasy people fear the eye eye because it looks so sinister. Many believe it is evil and consequently kill any creature they see. Fortunately, beauty is in the eye of the beholder and the eco-tourists who come here obviously believe otherwise. But there are other visitors who come at night who are not so welcome. They are wildlife poachers and smugglers. There's a persistent rumor that some fishermen, or maybe people who pose as fishermen when they come out, are getting off and um, taking um, chameleons and the leaf tail gecko, Europlatus taking them back to Maral Set and then shipping them to Tana where um, they're sold overseas. We don't know the extent of that problem by its very nature. It's a clandestine trade if it exists, but we have to take it seriously. And he does take it seriously because these animals are so unique and so beautiful, they fetch a huge price on the world black market. A huge temptation for the dirt poor villagers and fishermen. In fact, the illegal pet trade is worth millions of dollars, though cents rather than dollars filter back to the Malagasy poachers. Worldwide animal smuggling is second only to drug trafficking and is just as lucrative, but without the penalties. Therefore, they are constantly under threat and Matthew and his conservation agents have to be vigilant. Since the conservation agents out here haven't had any means of patrolling the shore up to now, we felt it was high time to give them a way of, of going around the island every now and then um, just to check on what's going on. It's a very rugged island. It's, uh, it takes quite a long time to get around. There aren't footpaths to, to all points of the island and we found that they can make it all the way around the island in three hours, which on foot is absolutely out of the question, can't do it. And so we hope it'll be a very efficient way as well for them to, to patrol. <laughs> 